Beach Island, New Jersey, which is one of our favorite shore towns ever. And since everything that's going on in the world right now with all of the coronavirus, we decided to do a little staycation and go to one of our favorite beach towns ever, Beach Haven, New Jersey. Yep, and since we live in between Philadelphia and the shore, pretty much right in between it, we thought it'd be a great little ride down here and go see some of the best parts about this island that we've been coming to for years. It means so much to us to be here in this place we've had so many memories our whole lives we can't wait to show you guys what it has to offer we are headed right now down to the lighthouse which is on the north end of the island halfway point we're in ship bottom and this is where you get on the island but if you guys want to go straight to the lighthouse you go off the causeway and off the bridge and then you make a left onto the boulevard just parked in the shade to make sure the drone is all safe and well and now we're walking up to the entrance there's not a lot of people here we do have our handy dandy mask and then we also do have some hand sanitizer in the car that we will definitely be using yeah and despite it being a weekday it's still pretty crowded this this tends to be a really uh, crowded area just because of how cool it is when you first walk into the lighthouse area there's a lot of information a lot of signs about all the history about barnegat lighthouse and then they also have a full map of the entire area right behind me you will see the visitor center however it is closed right now because of covid but we are about to walk into the trail that we were talking about before we have been on this trail many times no pets are allowed on this trail so make note of that you can see i already have my mask on there's a bunch of people on this trail that we didn't anticipate but as you're walking down the trail the maritime trail you'll see all these little signs uh, telling you what kinds of plants they have here given that we're in one very sunny and sandy place the amount of plants that grow here the biodiversity is incredible you see so many different types of trees like cedars and holly trees and maples and every kind of tree that's indigenous to the area where we live is pretty much here and it's all behind the sand dunes that separate it from the ocean so it must be very fertile land and they must be very hardy trees to be able to withstand the sun and the dryness and the salty air since the last time i saw you i changed masks because i couldn't really breathe in that n95 one and there aren't many people as there were before so yeah. i think this one will do but um, as you're coming through here, it really feels like you're in another place. It, you don't feel like you're at the shore at all. There's a lot of shade and a lot of vegetation. Tons of poison ivy too, so beware of that. They do a pretty good job at keeping it out of the trail. Um, but if you look in a little bit, you can definitely see there's tons of poison ivy around. It's just beautiful because you will go through a tunnel like we just walked through. And then you'll come out into this bright sunlit area where the dunes are and all the different types of grass and beach heather and stuff. But then you'll see the bay, people fishing for bluefish and, and tuna and all this other stuff. And the hike in total takes about 20 minutes, which is not bad at all. It's just so beautiful down here. And like Dave was saying, you feel like you're literally immersed in a different world. I feel like I am back in the Pine Barrens. Now we are about to walk up to the lighthouse for the first time and see what that's all about. I'm not sure if it's open. Usually you can go to the top, but with everything going on with COVID, I'm sure it's closed right now because it is a tight space to walk all the way up to the top. Walking on the beach is never easy, but at least we have our sneakers on. I think Dave has sandals on. How's it going over there? Well, so every now and then there's a shell or a rock that flips up into the sand that I'm walking through, but this isn't normal sand. This is more like crushed up seashells and rocks mixed yeah. in with sand. So yeah. you're not getting that full beach effect. So guys, this really cool bronze statue of what apparently is the lighthouse keeper. It says it at the bottom, but uh, really cool. It's a nice turquoise color to it from all the rain, I guess. to Barnegat Lighthouse. We are so starving. We only had some pineapple and a little bit of breakfast this morning. So we're gonna grab something to eat. There's a bunch of places we can 
we can go to around here but um i think one of them's kelly's right here i'm not sure if that's open but that's like the go-to place if you come to barnegat lighthouse that is right here and so is daymark which is a newer place it's more of like a bar sitting area this is just a really relaxing thing to do if you want to come and take a break from the the hot beaches and get into the woods have a little nature hike then it's this amazing is the, yeah it's the perfect place to go kelly's is open like Ann said in the car and uh they have a pickup window and they have an ordering window we did online mobile ordering which is great here is their menu some of the options that they have we went with mozzarella sticks and then clam strips and then also a turkey club which is dave's favorite can't wait to eat we are starving I love that they give you the mobile ordering option. It's just much more safe. I just got a text from them and going to pick it up now. Here comes our food. Here give me that bag. <laughs> I could eat the bag. I'm that hungry. Yeah, so they put ketchup and mayo and stuff in here. Too, nice. Did they, they do tartar sauce for the clam strips? Yeah. Mm, yummy. Uh, so they give you little, little things like this. It's all classic Kelly style. These clam strips come with coleslaw and a tartar sauce. And what is this? That's tartar. Or this is the tartar and then they, it comes with a cocktail sauce too. So we'll try each of these out Yummy. and see how they are. I got a cut on my finger and I got cocktail sauce in it. Ow. <laughs> wow. You can I The fries are good. They're good. What are they again? Clam strips. Yeah, so these are clam strips. So apparently they kind of pull like the clam out of the shell and they get that meat and then they pull the meat out and fry it and you come up with these. So let's see. It's kind of like calamari. Very much like calamari. And it's good too. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Mm -hmm. With the tartar sauce. They have a chewiness to them that's really nice. Mm -hmm. And whatever oils they they cook these in it's good it's like Bad. an organic kind of flavor i forgot <laughs> drinks so we need to go get the sprites that would be the perfect addition to this that or ginger ale diet <laughs> okay we are in business now two sprites completes the ensemble okay well, let's put this in the back okay now we can really enjoy our meal Mmm, nothing like a fresh cold Sprite. <laughs> well, like so we also ordered the mozzarella sticks here. My favorite. Yeah, never can go wrong with good mozzarella sticks. Mm -mm. They have to be good though. Yeah. I've had terrible ones. I'm like a mozzarella stick connoisseur. Their, co their marinara sauce looks kind of interesting. It looks like there's a lot of pepper in there. It looks there. dark. I want to try it without it first. Mmm. Really good cheese. Mm-hmm. It actually tastes right away is the cheese flavor. They're and good. then the and then the friedness of the outside you definitely mm -hmm. taste after the fact. But good. What do you think about the marinara sauce? Not my favorite. I didn't try it yet. I like more of a tomatoey marinara sauce, like with the chunks in it. And that just seems like straight up tomato oh, sauce. Oh this is <laughs> this is Elio's <laughs> It's pizza like sauce. Yeah, it's like There's a lot of pepper in it. I thought it was a job. But not the best. Not the best. We're just gonna finish up eating here and then head back to the shore house, let the dogs out, make sure they're all right. We've been gone probably for about four or five hours, so not too long. And it's gonna take us about 30 minutes to head back down the island. I wonder if there's gonna be any traffic. I don't know, but I know one thing is that we're gonna watch Harry Potter tonight, so. Who can't doesn't wait for love that. Harry Potter? <laughs> With a little ice cream, I think that'll be great. So we'll see you guys in the morning. One thing we always do when we're down here is walk down to the bay because there are some amazing sunsets and this one looks so beautiful. I'm already seeing some pinks and some purples in the sky. It is the 
the next morning and today we were actually supposed to go out on a pontoon boat which was going to be so much fun however it is thunderstorming out right now i don't know if you can hear it in the background but it's raining so so much so we decided to cancel that and reschedule for tomorrow morning so we're still going to be doing that on this trip but today I think we're just gonna eat our way through LBI, especially Beach Haven, and show you guys all the great food that this town has to offer. We're gonna go to the Chegg, which is just so iconic Beach Haven. When you think of LBI, the first thing most people think of is the Chegg and just a staple here. And then we're also gonna go to the Bagel Shack and grab one of my favorite things to eat here, which is a bacon, egg, and cheese. And then also we're gonna stop by Uncle Will's, which is just another staple, especially for families for pancakes. So we're gonna head out and see you guys in a little bit. So since the rain delayed our plans with the boat, we decided we were going to get out on these new awesome Segway 9 bot scooters that we got a few months back and we've been trying them out, testing them out, see how they work. These are the perfect thing to have down the shore because you know a lot of people have golf carts and bigger things that they drive around that you have to get street legalized. Mm -hmm. um, these are small enough and don't go fast enough so that you can drive them wherever you want. Yeah, so you don't um, need a license or anything. No license, nothing like that. And we bought these around Christmas time, so we're excited to have them all summer long, and especially this week down here in LBI. We are headed into what seems to be more rain, but it's moving to the east, so we have some clear skies coming towards us. We'll only have to wait this out a little bit. So this is what the scooters look like. Instead of bikes, you can have these. This is a little charging port that you put the charger in. And when you do that, you can see how much, what percentage the battery is at. So it has con cruise control. You just push this down the throttle and hold it at a certain speed. And then it'll activate the cruise control. And the brakes are electronic. And then you have an emergency brake right here. With, if you, uh, I don't know why you'd need that, but if you needed to brake faster than what the, the electronic brake can do, you could use that. And then the light, there's a light on the front. Can you press that? You just press it once for the light to turn on. It's LED, really bright. And uh, that's about it, really. There's and some... they fold down really nicely, very compact, so you can just throw them in your trunk like we did. It's super easy. Scooters were so much fun and now we definitely need to get something to eat. However, we just realized that Uncle Will's and also the Bagel Shack, they're both closed right now because of COVID and they only have certain hours which are really early in the morning. So right now we're definitely gonna grab something at the Chegg. By the way, the Chegg is short for the chicken or the egg. I'm sure she told you that earlier, but it's just what everybody eventually started calling it. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna either get maybe Eggs Benedict or an omelet. What are you thinking? I'm not sure yet. I'm still looking at the menu. It's huge. So, and it's all different kinds of breakfast stuff. They mix it up sometimes. So, you'll get really unique platters and dishes with their stuff too. So, we called the Chegg and they guided us to do an online order instead from their website. And um, I was going to say and mention while she was on the phone with them ordering that she has the best memory for ordering food. I can tell her <laughs> something once and she'll she'll remember everything I told her and without even hesitating. But she's actually pretty good at pushing buttons too. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out their website. It's really weird. It's not called the Chegg.com. It's called like 492. Yeah, it's a dot com, which just looks like a child made it. Yeah, I, I think a lot of companies and businesses are in that position right now, where they have to heavily rely on their their uh, social media presence and their website, and a lot of them weren't up to date on any of those things, so they had to quickly implement something that people could use and um, and still get orders in. So you're going to see a lot of websites with very minimal design effort. So we're going to get through this, then pick up our order and then take it back to the house and eat. See you guys there. Success with the mask on. So first things first, we're gonna try off the breakfast pancakes that they make. We just got basic pancakes just to see how they'd stack up <laughs> versus other stuff we've tried. 
I mean, we know they're good. We've always had them for years. They don't compare to Uncle Will's. Yeah, it's a shame that they're not open. The next best thing, right here. Put some syrup on it. Smuckers, they give you smuckers. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, because we're not eating the whole thing. Mm-hmm, they're bad. Mm, really good, very airy inside, and they're, they're pretty crispy on mm -hmm. the outside too. Now, I'm not one to eat my pancakes with syrup. I know it's very weird, <laughs> but I always put powdered sugar on it, but those are even good with syrup. It's actually really hard to not eat all of these. These are <laughs> really good. If you guys are looking for a quick short stack in the morning, if you're in LBI, definitely check out the Chegg. They make a ton of other things, but on their basic list of stuff that they make for breakfast, this is really good. So besides pancakes, I got the crabby omelet, which has the crab cake in it, avocado, then it also has some jack cheese, Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. and bacon. So this looks amazing. It looks humongous yeah, inside. Yeah, it's really good. Really creamy. That avocado kind of overpowers the whole thing. I think there was more avocado in that than anything else because it was the side. Mm, I got a bite of crab. But it is really good. You do taste that that crab there with mm -hmm. the bacon and the cheese adds a lot of flavor to it too. That's that's a really good meal. Now that time I got a bunch of bacon and that reminds me of a club sandwich <laughs> with the bacon flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, every bite I've had of this was different. That bite was all crab. Amazing. Like I just had three different meals in one. In one, right there. And every bite's different. That now, is really good. I would get that again. Mm -hmm. Now, all the omelets do come with a side of hash browns, which is great. And then also your choice of bread. We went with wheat toast on this one. And then, did it come with any toast or anything on the pancakes? No, just the no, pancakes. No, just the pancakes. But yours came with a side of hash browns as well. Yeah, I got hash browns with the breakfast quesadilla, sorry. Uh, it has onions, cheese, American, and cheddar with green peppers. And let's see if this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some salsa and sour cream on it and take a bite. Mm. It kind of falls apart, but that's okay because there's egg and cheese in there that holds everything together. This is really good too. Is it? Mm-hmm, really good. It tastes like a regular chicken quesadilla without the chicken. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I, I, I would guess that there's chicken in there, but. Mm-hmm, no, really good. Yeah. I honestly have to say, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, it is probably the best omelet I've ever had. So different, you're never gonna find another omelet like this mm -hmm. with avocado crab cake in it. I don't even think it's crab cake, honestly. I think it's just huge chunks of crab meat, which is even better. You're not getting that filler. Yeah. Overall, as a breakfast place, this place stacks up compared, it, I mean, it's the best. It's why, it's why it's so well known in LBI. Mm -hmm. This is really, really good stuff. And usually, like I was telling you guys before, they are open 24 hours, which is awesome. At three in the morning, if you're starving, if you're coming home from the bar or anything, you can just hop over there and grab something to eat at any hour. So we just didn't get the egg portion of the chicken or the egg, but we also got the chicken. And Dave went with some awesome wings. They look really, really good. And he went with the naked wings and a mild sauce, so. Which means they're not breaded or anything like that. Uh, it's just the skin on them and they put the mild sauce at the bottom. It smells really good. Definitely like a mild, hotter smell to, the, smell. to the sauce. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like Piccalilli. So Piccalilli is famous for their wings. They're back home. Their wings have kind of like a sweet, mild sauce that really makes that chicken flavor stand out. And the sweetness of that, it just, mm -hmm. it makes them the best in the country. And I'm not and exaggerating. Known. Yeah, they're known. I'm not exaggerating at all. There are people that will know about the piccalilli from miles and miles away. Different states, states, yeah. States away, they know about piccalilli just for their wings and how how long they've been here. So let's try these out. A little bit dry. I think they overdid them a little bit. Try another one. But not too much. It's not like they're crazy dry, mm -hmm. you know? And if you have enough sauce on it, then it kind of makes up for that. Where we're from, it's kind of proper to call it 
going to the shore versus yeah. going to the beach. We just we, we wanted to come to the coast. I've never heard anyone say I'm that. I'm kidding. I just wanted to come to the sea. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go take a trip down to the sea. <laughs> the ocean. Or another one. Yuri, Yuri, go, go. She does not want me to hold her right now. She's just like, look at all oh, this food. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Overall, we love the Chegg. I mean, it kind of brought me back, brought some memories back of mm -hmm. how good this place actually is. It lives up to its name and its reputation. And how is that? I mean, the omelet was the best, a, a right. 10 out of 10. I will yeah. definitely be getting this for sure. I can't believe I've never had it before, but yeah. it's just that good. And pricing is really good as well. I think for all these four items, it only costs around $40. So you're talking $10 a piece, which is not bad at all. So we're probably just going to finish this up. We're going to cook later on the grill, maybe some hamburgers and hot dogs onions whatever we got mm -hmm. and then uh and watch a movie and maybe play a board game and stuff like that so it's kind of gloomy again there, there's another round of storms and stuff blowing through so we're gonna have to keep it inside tonight we just woke up from a really long nap we were so tired from scootering and doing all that today and now it's around eight o'clock and the sun is setting it looks so beautiful outside Dave is actually outside taking some pictures of it How's it going? Good. We're getting about up the temperature. Some veggies, hot dogs, more. hamburgers, the perfect summer food. <laughs> Coney Island dogs too. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. And great value burgers from Walmart. It's a secret, but they're really, really good. They are good. Yeah. We had them last night as well, and Dave made them awesome with some onions yeah. and cheese. It was like a deluxe burger, so, so good. really good. Okay guys, so we're going to dig into this grilled food. It looks delicious. Not too hungry because we did <laughs> eat all that food earlier. And then tomorrow we have the boat, which we're so excited about. So we're just going to relax tonight. So we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Good night. <laughs> Good night, adventurers. <laughs>